Our research here at the NICB is on the cornea, the transparent dome in the front of the eye. This acts like a window, protecting the inner light detecting components of the eye from dust, germs, as well as acting as the outermost lens of the eye. Any damage to the cornea that results in scarring will lead to a reduction in vision or blindness. In fact, damaged or diseased corneas are a major reason for blindness worldwide. The stem cell population, known as limbal cornea stem cells, is the stem cell population for the outer epithelial cells and is located in a region of tissue called the limbus, which is located in the junction between the clear part of your eye, the cornea, and the slear, the white part of the eye. Any damage to these limbal stem cells, which can occur due to a number of different disease processes such as chemical injury, thermal burns, or diseases such as Stephen Johnson syndrome, will result in a limbal stem cell deficiency and hence a loss of vision. Cornea surgeons at the Royal Victoria Eye and Ear Hospital met with us here in the NICB in a meeting that was set up with the late Vincent Lynch and Professor Martin Clients, who's an ex-director of the NICB. At this meeting, we discussed whether it was possible to culture these cells, as such techniques were being developed elsewhere, but there was no programme in Ireland. The initial work focused on developing a culture method to reliably generate expanded cell sheets of nimble stem cells. And then we focused on seeing if these sheets could be generated on a biological carrier in high purity. The second phase of the work focused on bringing the culture process into the clinic. And this meant using good manufacturing process, as the cells would have to be cultured in a regulated GMP facility. This was conducted with colleagues in the Irish Blood Transfusion Service, which is also the National Eye Bank, and utilised the expertise that the IBTS had in working in that regulatory environment and the required Class B clean room. The challenge we now faced here in the NICB was actually working out how to adapt the growth meter we were using to remove components that were incompatible with clinical use. That goal was achieved, and in January 2016, the IBTS received authorization to grow these cells for clinical use from the regulatory agency, the HPRA. On the 7th of June 2016, the very first cornea and limbal stem cell transplant in Ireland was conducted at the Royal Victoria Eye and Ear Hospital by our clinical collaborator, Mr William Power. This new treatment option for Irish patients has been successfully used for 10 patients to date. The work also involves basic research into gene expression and, and also into the cornea regeneration and current focus is now looking at developing further therapies for corneal disease. And particular interest in this case has been the cornea endothelium, 